So in this video, let's talk about the beach condos in Hollywood. A lot of them who are watching my videos, you guys love Hollywood, Holland Hill area. So I want to make one specific video talking about the beach condos and what are the varieties of things you could buy. Or if you are living in Hollywood and you want to kind of upgrade yourself to live in condo, a lot of people are doing that, selling their single family houses and going towards the beach. Then this video will give you a lot of information. Or if you are one of the investor and you want to learn about let's say if you want to buy a vacation condo or if you want to buy something straightforward for your income that's also possible to get something in Hollywood so we are going to discuss some of the different kinds of rules and regulation what you would find what you should be prepared for are the financings if you are thinking to go into Hollywood Florida so let's start this video right now So what's up guys, this is Komal Acharya and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to me also because I have not been able to make so many videos since a while because of my health, I'm kind of in a pregnancy oh. phase for my second baby. So anyways, now I'm coming to my routine and trying to give you as much as content possible on this channel. So talking about the Hollywood is one of the very, very famous city you will find in South Florida area, which is very close to Fort Lauderdale if you check out on map and close to Miami too. So if you have a job in around that city, this could be the great choice. Hollywood is great because of the location. It's very close to airports, it's close to city life and it's close to a little bit of suburb life because Hollywood is a very big city. If you check on the map, it has the east side and the west side. The west side, people live there for single family houses. On east side, people go there for the lifestyle. And the center Hollywood is a little bit of questionable. There are some areas I personally don't like it. So you may have to see exactly where you're moving into Hollywood because it's not like whole city is amazing. There are crime rates there. There are, you know, like questionable neighborhoods there, uh, mixed population. I have also heard about the drug issues happening a lot in Hollywood. But again, it all depends on the area. None of the area is perfect anywhere you go. Crime is happening everywhere we can ever imagine before. So that's again, it depends. That's why this research would help you to get into the perfect property or perfect house or perfect vacation condo. So let's first stick to this beach condo topic. Okay, so Westside has all different topic and I have some other videos on that if you want to check out and if you're moving with the kids with kids the east side is not so amazing okay if you're buying something you know for lifestyle purpose then it's a great choice to start with the reason is the schools the schools are very questionable on the east side people who are living there of course there are so much nice million dollar properties but a lot of kids are in a private school. So if you're prepared to do that, that's fine. Otherwise, it's a little bit of questionable uh, school ratings completely on the east side. The beach condos, there are a lot of varieties you would find in Hollywood. Hollywood actually started building in 1940s. It's one of the older city, you know, you would find in South Florida area. It's not very brand new. However, it has a lot of new construction too. A lot of new developments happening in Hollywood because Hollywood is very famous for a lot of headquarters. It is kind of very close to Miami a lot of people don't like to live in Miami because it's getting overcrowded so people like to live in Hollywood so a lot of movements happening in Hollywood for in and out so the population growth is kind of like in a, in a raising mode so a lot of locals complain that Hollywood is getting crowded now same thing with the Hollander Hollander is like a small town that's close to Hollywood but it's uh, of course it's also very beach town I would consider because it's very close to beach however Hollander is all different kind of feel than Hollywood. Hollywood beach condos, as I said, it starts the building year built around 1940s. So you may find a very old building. So if you're buying something there with the affordable numbers, then that could be the possibility in older buildings. It is a possible. A lot of people question me, can I buy something around 400,000 in Hollywood? Yes, you can. Definitely. There is a possibility of getting it, but then you compromise the year built. It's nothing wrong with it. However, this construction here is very strong. Of course, a lot of people have heard about Miami condo collapse. That's one of the very unfortunate thing happened. But after that happened, the city, all the city beach cities have been very strict. 
and every condo has to go to the 40 year recertification. Those condos also were in process of doing it and that did affect the condo market one or other way. But in a positive way, if I see the city has been very strict, the condo has to maintain the recertification. And the HOA has been very strict, even raising money if they need improvements. If you come in a Hollywood, you will definitely see a lot of condos construction has been happening, like uh, garage areas or parking areas, because those are the main structure part where things goes wrong. And the pool areas, that's also because ultimately you are on a beach and slowly slowly things also get scary if the building is not been maintained even residents were taking very lightly they would not contribute to those money however now a lot of assessment fees are raised and you know that's something that let's say you're buying now you, you there's a possibility seller has already paid for it and you don't have to worry about if you someone is living now of course they have some extra burden of those assessment fees so those are the differences right now happening at this moment in the Hollywood market like condo market there are properties let's say the newer build I would still consider newer build is after 1990s built you know it's not very old it's not something like old style building a lot of times even you know when this assessment fees are gathered they already went through the remodeling phase so you would have a new lobby you would have a new pool area new parking garage all those things are new at the same time the HOA is low more newer you go let's say you want to buy something less than 10 years the HOA would be definitely higher the HOA numbers roughly runs for the older property at least minimum $400 per month it goes to 700 to more than thousand dollars for the newer properties so if you're okay to pay the HOA then yes the newer built are great choices for you and you do get the you know a little more peace of mind when you're buying the new built property right the new building because it's ultimately it's a high rise so you do have to worry about all those things the timely you know it get worse you know and if you're living here in beach condos please give your opinion in a comment section so other people will learn from it okay so I would love to encourage my viewers to give their own opinion if they're locals that gives a local perspective not just me talking but there's someone living there that gives a, another perspective to the future residents now talking about the inside of the building definitely the prices are depends on the view okay if one building would have a different price per perspective I would say I will share you some examples um, on a video so you would understand if something you're buying ocean view it could have a hundred thousand more than you know non ocean view there is a bay area too like you know other side of the building you would see the bay or the city and the one side is ocean that's the beauty of beach condos on Hollywood because this is ocean drive is a beautiful it has a lot of things to do on the ocean drive itself if you don't even have a car you could serve survive there so a lot of senior citizens prefer to live there because they don't have to walk a lot even though they keep like a small bike that's also good enough they don't have to have a car they don't have to have extra money invested while you're living there otherwise you know the Florida transportation is very poor very poor so you won't find the bus service or train service that often that you know you may have in your states so talking about the proximity definitely the ocean drive condos are amazing because of you know a lot of things to do like a broad walk is very close it's 2.5 mile broad walk it's always busy it's always busy and a lot of things you can even just walk around you could do bike you could do just sit there you know and enjoy beach because that I think one of the reason you would buy the vacation condo is to enjoy beach and a lot of beach condos have their own services like a beach towel services they have just like a hotel you know you don't have to carry things but the HOA will go up as you buy we recently buy one property is like thousand dollar HOA they would have all kind of amenities in a condo so it's a plus and minus where you are kind of paying to HOA and get the services or you're doing by yourself uh, ocean access is pretty much common even though you buy property somewhere like you know it's older buildings but still is ocean ocean access personal ocean access is pretty much common in almost all buildings other side of the building where the bay is there also the price a little bit lower but of course it's a 
walking distance because the Ocean Drive is a very big ocean drive and um, you have a lot of options there for the beach condos. Townhouses, let's say you don't want to live in high rises and you want to live in townhouses, then you may not find on Ocean Drive itself. A lot of people have expectations that, no, I just want to don't live in high rise. I want to live in, uh, you know, townhouse or a separate kind of house. So in that case, you may have to go a little bit west. You cannot, I mean, it will be very difficult to find. I mean, maybe there will be some, but not that off, you know. So you do have to keep that in mind. You're okay to go one to two miles inside then Ocean Drive. Then yes, definitely you would have a good choices there. Hollywood is one of the very famous for investors because you could, you could find the rentals, tenants, very pretty much easy. A lot of people love just to rent because they have a virtual job and they're not planned to stay here longer. So even beach condos give a good ROI too. And the beach condos, a lot of people question me, is the market is kind of dropping on there. Honestly, in a COVID pandemic time, the condo market didn't get raised as much as single family houses. So of course the change, we would not see as much as what we see in a single family house. So definitely the inventory wise, the Hollywood condos a lot more. And let's say you go to Delray Beach or Deerfield Beach area, because it's almost comparatively to Fort Lauderdale condos. It's, you know, it's a, it's a beautifully built there, but they do believe in a city, do believe in high rises. So if you're living in a townhouses, the view is blocked from all these high rise buildings, you know? So it's again, it's your choice. If you want to be on ocean or you can live inside. There are some other towns like Lauderdale by sea. That's my favorite favorite one. If you don't want to live on high rise, then that could be the great choice to live in. I'm going to make another video on, I have one video on Lauderdale by Sea if you guys want to check out, but I'm going to make some more videos on Lauderdale by Sea with the present prices because that video is very old. So the price would be different. So I'm going to show now a couple of examples of the properties, what you would find, what kind of year built, what the pricing. So it gives you some kind of idea what the beach condos look like. Now talking about just briefly about the investors this is all on the another topic the invest for investors you need to find something of course it can be rentable the city is getting a little tough now allowing to rent so there will be less inventory for the investor compared to someone who is buying for themselves and living there there are possible the building is allowing one to two years of ownership, then you can rent. There are a lot of them on a Gulf Ocean, like there are a lot of buildings on there. So then you have a lot of choices because if you can push for one year or maybe two years, then you can rent it out, you know, whenever you want. So a lot of times my investors try to go in that route and they keep it for one year for their own shit. They plan such a way. And you know, you, of course you have flexibility to rent out if your plan changes. So long story short, you have a lot of options, a lot of options with the price point. You could buy a beautiful property on $2 million on Hollywood, which will be less still price and what do you get compared to what do you buy in Miami or Fort Lauderdale. So I still love Hollywood Hollander area compared to, you know, the very crowded Miami. Now, I mean, I'm going to make some other videos on Lauderdale by Sea and, 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 and let me know in comments if anything specific you want to learn about for the beach condos or something you want me to make a video. I would love to do that. So I will see you in bye next video.